Did you know that Burkina Faso, landlocked and often underestimated, has been stealthily scripting its economic success story? It's true. Burkina Faso has been shaking up the African narrative. It's not just the land of enchanting landscapes and warm-hearted people, it's also on a mission to take the big leap into the League of Developed Nations. In this video, we're going to explore the ongoing mega-projects that hold the keys to Burkina Faso's future prosperity. From gleaming highways to cutting-edge infrastructure and renewable energy projects, these projects are transforming the very fabric of Burkina Faso society. So, stick around, because this video is your front-row seat to Burkina Faso's epic transformation. Let's dive in. 5. Transportation Infrastructure Burkina Faso, a vibrant landlocked nation in West Africa, is home to around 21 million amazing people. Notably, the country's road network, essential for connectivity and economic growth, spans an impressive 17,400 kilometers, but that only accounts for a mere 10% of that network in the whole country. Burkina Faso isn't resting on its laurels. Over the past few years, the government has been revving up its engines in the construction project industry. One of the crown jewels of these road infrastructure projects is the Ouagadougou Jabasso Highway, which is a 233-kilometer lifeline connecting the bustling capital, Ouagadougou, to the vibrant Jabasso region up north. The projects are all made possible with the help of the African Development Bank and the European Union, to the tune of around 118 million euros. Additionally, the Zagtuli Interchange, a 300-meter-long bridge, is being built on the outskirts of Ouagadougou. The Islamic Development Bank and the Burkina Faso government are pitching in, and by 2024, traffic jams will be history. As Burkina Faso strategically positions itself in West Africa, these roads aren't just pathways, they're gateways to prosperity. They're paving the way for increased trade, investment, and regional cooperation. With these mega-road projects and a government plan that's got a budget of over 190 billion FCFA, they're rolling toward a brighter future. 4. Energy Projects Did you know that Burkina Faso is sitting on a gold mine of renewable energy resources? The sun smiles upon Burkina Faso for an average of 3,000 hours each year, making it a perfect candidate for solar energy. Burkina Faso has set ambitious targets to ramp up its renewable energy game. Notably, the government has been making impressive strides by providing policies, and incentives are flowing to support this green revolution. Furthermore, the country is prioritizing energy security because Burkina Faso relies heavily on imported fossil fuels, and this renewable push reduces that dependency. It also invests in rural electrification because access to electricity in rural areas is a game-changer for communities and also for economic development. After all, Burkina Faso aims to create jobs, stimulate businesses, and elevate living standards. Overall, the government is on a mission to achieve 30% renewable energy by 2030. Accordingly, Burkina Faso's renewable energy revolution isn't just about light bulbs and wind turbines. It's about lighting up lives, charging up businesses, and powering up dreams. 3. Agricultural Initiatives Burkina Faso has initiated a community entrepreneurship program to stimulate inclusive development. This program is about creating community-owned enterprises that specialize in agriculture, mining, and industry, lighting up the entrepreneurial spirit and sparking job opportunities, especially for the youth. The mastermind behind this initiative is the Community Entrepreneurship Promotion Agency, APEC, with the technical guidance of the cooperative company Scoop CA. Additionally, tomato paste manufacturer Safato is expanding with two new processing plants, and they're semi-mechanizing it on three sites. Besides, there's an agricultural mechanization and intensification project in the works, aimed at creating a million direct jobs within two years, plus a central purchasing office for local produce to boost farmers' incomes. Furthermore, Burkina Faso's got a plan to cultivate 11,000 hectares of farmland in the upcoming season. This project, with a budget of $36 million, is divided into three parts, each focusing on rice, farmland development, and ensuring food security in the face of challenges like climate change and global events. Over a thousand military personnel, 
2,000 volunteers, and 4,000 internally displaced persons will join forces to make this happen and produce 190,000 tons of cereals and veggies by the end of the season. Overall, Burkina Faso is proving that adversity can be a stepping stone to progress. They're not just growing crops, they're cultivating resilience, unity, and a brighter future. 2. Education Infrastructure Burkina Faso is on a mission to revamp its education infrastructure. Burkina Faso school construction is about creating sustainable, energy-efficient, and eco-friendly learning spaces. That's right. Many new schools in Burkina Faso are designed to be energy-efficient, harnessing the power of the sun and wind. It's all about reducing the environmental impact and saving on energy costs in the long run. Now, let's shine a light on a remarkable project. The government of Japan, in partnership with UNICEF and Menoplum, through JITSA, is supporting the construction of new classrooms in the center and center sud regions of Burkina Faso. Notably, these new classrooms are for both the local children and internally displaced children who have found refuge in these areas. Since 2019, insecurity and armed violence have disrupted education in Burkina Faso, leading to over 6,136 schools being closed, affecting over a million children. Moreover, the project is called Strengthening Education Through Secondary School Construction, and it's all about improving access and quality of post-primary education. They aim to provide safe and child-friendly learning spaces for 5,200 children, with a 50% focus on girls' education. So far, 18 new schools have sprung up, complete with WASH infrastructure, basic school furniture, science labs, and the training of 162 teachers and school directors in the safe school approach. Overall, these projects are building schools, dreams, knowledge, and a brighter future for Burkina Faso. 1. Water Supply and Sanitation Projects Burkina Faso faces some challenges when it comes to water and sanitation. Challenges like limited funding, access, and sanitation facilities. Notably, Burkina Faso is a country on the rise, but resources are limited, and thus ensuring clean water and proper sanitation for all is a colossal task. Furthermore, the African Development Bank AFDB, has granted Burkina Faso a whopping 114.27 billion CFA francs, or 174 million euros, to support several game-changing projects. Notably, about CFAF 30.196 billion, or 46 million euros, will be used for three water and sanitation projects in Burkina Faso. Let's start with PASIPA, 2R, a project set to launch soon, and it's here for five years. It involves the construction of 30 drinking water supply systems, 100 large boreholes, 200 standalone water points, and 160 wash houses. Besides, they're also upgrading 30 existing water supply systems in regions like the Center West, Center North, Center South, North, Central Plateau, and Sahel, access to sanitation will see a major boost. Notably, 10,000 family latrines and 500 blocks of public latrines, all to reduce open defecation in Burkina Faso which is a giant step toward better health and dignity for its citizens. Moreover, the project for the promotion of hygiene, drinking water and sanitation, and strengthening the resilience of the population to COVID-19 and climate change in rural areas in eight provinces, FIPA, 8P, is also in the spotlight. It's touching lives in the center-west, center-south, and central plateau regions, constructing 29 water supply systems, 30 autonomous water stations with solar pumping, 3,500 family latrines, and 100 blocks of institutional and public latrines. FIPA, 8P is also providing hygiene kits, sensitizing communities on good water, sanitation, and hygiene practices, and even building climate-resilient fecal sludge treatment plants. Last but not least, the support project for access to drinking water and sanitation and capacity building for resilience to climate change in Ouagadougou's peripheral neighborhoods, PPQP. This project is building 15 standpipes, 10 latrines in schools and health centers, and 50 latrines for vulnerable households. It's reaching over 28,000 people, improving access to clean water and sanitation. Conclusion 
From massive transportation infrastructure projects like the Wagadugu Jabaso Highway to remarkable energy initiatives harnessing the power of renewables, Burkina Faso is on a transformational path. We can't forget the agricultural initiatives, empowering farmers to produce more food and enhance food security. Burkina Faso is rewriting its educational story with new classrooms and learning spaces. Besides, healthcare facilities are taking shape, improving access to care and resilience to challenges like never before, and water supply and sanitation initiatives are quenching more than just physical thirst. These projects aren't just plans on paper, they're the bricks and beams of a developed Burkina Faso. I want to thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe for more eye-opening content. Stay tuned for more